So I have never done the jelly plate with you guys. Um, I have a special order uh, where I'm making uh, 80 little tags for somebody's 40th anniversary. So what I have here are my little palettes all ready to receive color. And these are different kinds of playing cards with um, Bible scriptures posted over them, um, glued on with Elmer's glue, nothing, nothing crazy. Elmer's glue with just a little bit of water so that it becomes like heavy cream. Um, so these are all dry and ready to go. The, the woman that wants these done wants on the front her life verses, John 316, and it's the Ruby anniversary. So the idea is going to be that I'm going to have the half a heart with John 316 written in it and a Ruby on the front. And then in the back, she's got a, um, a Bible verse that is for her anniversary. So this is the first step is just getting color on them. And being that I've got so many to do, I'm going to use my jelly plate because I can just go so fast and just knock them out. So I like to use um, stencils. I've got to keep this kind of where you guys can see it. You can see I never wash my stencils. Oh, confession is a good thing, right? So I never wash my stencils. Um, I love how oranges, reds, and yellows look on this. Things I'm going to be using. Great question. Thanks for keeping me focused. Stencil, jelly plate. This I bought, I, I know that you can make one, but oh my gosh, who has got the time? I am gonna try to make them with my middle school students this year, so stay tuned on that. This is a brayer um, that I roll with. We're gonna use different stencils, and I have these kind of like paint brushes that I'll, I'll use too. So um, let's start with this, okay? So, um, once you play with a jelly plate, you are never going to not want to play with a jelly plate. Like every day you're going to wake up and say, oh, I should play with my jelly plate today because they're just that much fun and unpredictable. And it's like Christmas. Every time you pull a print, you're like, oh, I love it. And when your paint comes out, then it's really fabulous. Okay. So here I am just going to roll that out. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, now I'm going to take my cards and I am going to lay them on there and I'm just going to pull them. Now I go in for many different layers, so that's just my first layer. And then you drop them and you get more layers straight away. So here I will continue to mop up all that paint. So. Now, see, they're going to have to dry so that you can see how um, I keep going with them. So, now if I had, let's say, like these were done in blue, this would be fabulous to kind of put right up on top of it. Um, even here, you can just do this and get rid of that extra paint. Look how pretty that is. So, um, and remember that even with these, this is about layers. It's not about one time, one shot, and they're done. Um, they do take a while to get done because I like the layered look on them. I don't like it to be, um, you know, just one color. I like it to really look like it's fabulous. So I use this method to make salt leaks. I use this method, um, I guess, mostly to make salt leaks. Now, watch what happens here. I'm going to pull this up. And now this is just so pretty. Get a load of how pretty these are going to be. See, that's got paint in it, so I want to move it up. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So here, I'm just going to keep on pulling. And we'll wait for those to dry, and then we'll come in with um, another color. So... See, these are, you can tell, I'm starting to sort of lose it now. So I'll just kind of grab all of that off of it. And then I'm going to roll it out again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, so here now, let me show you if I come in with a light yellow. Okay, I'm going to roll that out. I'm going to use a little bit, this is a gold, okay, 
so now if I do sort of a fun little pattern I will wipe this off on one of these um, but now watch what happens if I come in and I do this. And there's really no rhyme or reason to it. You just play and um, use up all the paint that you have and just keep going. Um, isn't that just kind of fun? So I'm going to use up some of these that have nothing on the back so that everything will have a front and a back going uh, and then you just have to everything just has to sort of dry in between see that one's got a lot of just one color so that will look pretty with the that coming through so you know, see a lot of these have I'm gonna go this way I don't want to have this video be too, too long. Um, so let me just get these all kind of more colors on them. Oh, I love how that one looks. Isn't that pretty? There's, it's really not any more colors coming up on these. So here, I'm going to transfer all of these over to here. Now, I've already got yellow kind of down there already. So I'm going to roll that out a little bit more. Um, this is going to be a background color. So I am going to want to try to keep it sort of um, light. Yeah, but who knows? You know what? In a minute, I could just change my mind and do it a whole different way. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get some background colors laid down on them. It's because some of these had nothing on the back. So here I will do this to get some color on both sides. Now remember, that's just one layer. Just one, one, one layer. Okay. So I love blue. I'm going to do some blue. That's a nice dark blue. And then this blue. So usually once I get my jelly plate out, I just kind of do the whole batch, get them all done at once so that I've got all my backgrounds in and then I can kind of go back in and do the artwork and the uh, journaling and not the journaling, the writing, the calligraphy, all that kind of jizzy to jazz. So, okay, so I have this. Yep, 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 yep. Helps if you make that noise. All right, just color, color, color. I wind up having these things laid out all around me when I'm doing this. So, okay. I'm just going to try to lift up some more of these. Just try to get all the paint up off that plate. do orange yet because I'm going to do my highlights in orange. Let's go for so I don't want to do red either. Let me, oh, I know what I want. I would like like a, um, I like a light blue. Here, let's go with this guy. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty blue, isn't it? And then I'll go with the green. Okay. You can see there's a lot of paint on here. I don't want 
want to do too much on it because I wanted to kind of pull the pattern as well. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oop, I got an itch. Okay. So let me show you now. Let me see if I can't get a little bit more up on that one. So remember that this is like your background color. So it's just um, fun and fabulous. And um, let me do. I'm gonna use this one. Now, no, so I still have this many more to do. I probably inked about half of them right now, but I still have those to do. But just so that you're not sitting with me through the whole process and, you know, thinking, Lord, have mercy, is she almost done yet? Okay, so I've done a lot of blues, and we know that blue and orange are opposite colors. So if this is going to be for a party, I'm going to want to kind of keep the the feel kind of the same so if I've got a blue background I'm gonna go with an orange yellow highlight if I've got an orange yellow highlight then I'm gonna go with a blue background so I'm just gonna kind of keep that sort of consistent um, through it so here I have that laid out watch this how this has that um, pattern on it and usually what will happen let me kind of go right here Usually if I just go right down, well, usually it comes right out on it. I promise it does, but it didn't this time. But look how pretty that is. Isn't that just pretty? Um, okay, so here, and I can go with this one. This one. And uh, this one. Oh, I'm running out of room. Now see that one's got to sit up because it's okay. So here I got this, and I could do this. Pops of color, like I just love those pops of color together. Love, 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 love. I thought I had some darker blue ones, didn't I? Am I just making stuff up? Um, oh, look at that! Isn't that so pretty? Uh, I just have to kind of move them all around and put them someplace. Um, I might be about ready to lift it up and get the gorgeous prints. These ones are kind of um, half here and half there. But I love that. Isn't that just pretty? I just love... I'm happy so far with the color combinations. I hope that you are just simply delighted. Um, okay, so watch this. Watch what happens here. If I pull this up, um, this I can use. Let's see what would happen if I pop that. Now we get, usually I would kind of have a place where I could, ah, you know what, didn't come out so much. But watch this. Watch how beautiful this is going to be. What? Isn't that pretty? Okay, so let me get these ones pulled. This is going to be pretty on that dark blue. So really, you do have to kind of think about your color combinations and how you're going to combine your colors. Um, the opposite colors are just pretty because they are opposite. And when you put them both together, it's just a very dynamic um, kind of a composition. So you've got blue and orange and you've got green and red. I kind of think about those as like the Christmas colors. And then you've got purple and yellow. So if you kind of put those opposite each other, it's always gonna be sort of dynamic. It's not gonna be a, like a, um, a relaxing composition because you're doing opposite ends of the color wheel, opposite ends of the spectrum, you're joining them together. So, um, but I love that, I love that look. So. Um, okay, and let me show you 
Um, here, I'm just gonna, I would keep on using that, but I wanna show you one more. So now I've got these oranges that need a, a pop of color, right? So let me, I want it to be sort of, yeah, I'm gonna use this one. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go again now because I've got these in orange, I'm gonna do a blue and a little bit of the green because this has a lot of that blue in it. So here we go. Okay, so now let's come in. This is before. And now we will see after. Let me do this. Yay, isn't that pretty? Okay, so I don't know that any of these have so, so, so much color on them, but we'll kind of start adding that color. Oh, I love it! It's, it's like exciting every time you pull a print. You just don't know what you're going to get. So I love that aspect of this fun little doodad. So there we have it. I think I'm just about ready to take off the stencil. Um, let me get a little bit more color on this one. So let's see, this one side needs some. Okay, I'm gonna pull, put aside, and now I'm gonna grab these images. Pretty, right? <gasps> that one's already fabulous, but we're gonna put more fabulousness on it. So you see how building up those colors just adds so much prettiness to it. So this is, I've got 80 of them to just keep on. I just keep playing it. I let one stack dry, then I add colors on another one, and then I bring the next ones back, and I just keep on playing and keep on going um, until... They are, I feel like I cannot put another ounce of paint on them, and then I call them done. So, um, here's some of the pretties, pretties, pretties. Um, look at that. So, that's it. That's me and my jelly paint making salt leaks. If you don't know what a salt leak is, great question. Um, you can check it out at saltysidewalks.com where we intentionally spread the gospel through the arts. So thanks guys. See you next time.